In today's SNG explains we will talk about Europe's biggest economy in recession. The writing was on the wall for quite some time but now it is official. Germany, Europe's biggest economy, is in recession. The country's GDP fell 0.3% in the first quarter of this year after tanking half percent in the quarter before. So what this slowdown really means is that there is going to be a impact across the European Union. Uh, first of all, there might be tapering off of demand to the extent Germany imports from other countries. Uh, you know, to the extent there has been a, a fall or a cut in output, um, could it could possibly also affect uh, exports from Germany, which would mean imports by other countries would be impacted. You know, Germany is a capital exporter, uh, so you would see that there would be withdrawal of some uh, capital movement uh, within EU as well. So, uh, in some, there would be an economic impact across the European Union on account of the slowdown that we are seeing in Germany. Two back-to-back -back quarters of declining output technically means a recession. So what has gone wrong in the world's fourth largest economy? Inflation remains quite high. Despite cooling off a bit, it was 7.2% last month. And rising prices means people are spending less. Government expenditure dipped nearly 5% in the first quarter this year compared to the one before. There are existing structural uh, problems. So, for example, Germany seems to be uh, witnessing a slowdown in consumption expenditure. If you just glance through the numbers, you'll also see that you know, Germany has restricted its uh, fiscal space during the period of recession. So, it has taken a more conservative stance. And perhaps uh, that's, that could be one of the reasons why it has come out more scarred uh, from the COVID-19 induced slowdown which, and the Russia-Ukraine war. The economic blue set in when COVID struck in 2020 and the first two quarters saw a fall in GDP numbers. The war in Ukraine has had an impact as well. Germany relies heavily on cheap Russian energy sources. Half of its gas imports in 2021 were from there. But as the West imposed sanctions on Russia last year for its invasion of Ukraine, Russia hit back where it hurts by cutting off gas supplies to Europe. And that pushed gas prices up, dealing a blow to the German industry. I do not foresee that you know, Russia as a major source of supply would change. So I think there needs to be a thinking around the strategy for uh, imposing these sanctions and following them through because a lot of these mean higher costs for countries. Uh, the other uh, which Germany has imposed on itself and many countries are now sort of committed to is the energy transition which means that uh, the reliance on fossil fuels will go down and that in itself will be a cost pressure. So to think about um, what this strategy looks like and then of course uh, link that back to how the oil purchase strategy or sorry, the gas purchase strategy would look like uh, needs to be uh, thought about. Aftershocks were felt in other leading European economies as well, leading to spiralling prices. The German government remains optimistic though, with Chancellor Olaf Scholz saying the outlook for the country's economy is very good. So look at uh, the World Economic Outlook, which is a documentation of growth projections. So if you look at those numbers, uh, you do not see um, as bleak an outlook for the year ahead. So I would say that, you know, contractions to the extent that are being reported uh, by Germany are not something that you can tide over very swiftly, but at the same time, it's possible to come out of it. Uh, subject to the fact that one, um, you have relaxation of prices. So the energy prices don't tighten the nose on Germany. The other is, of course, to have a buoyant global growth. Uh, so, you know, if other countries are resilient through this period and are able to come out of it, uh, Germany through those feedback effects. It is not a sentiment shared by the International Monetary Fund, though. 
The IMF has forecast a slight contraction in economic activity this year before it picks up next year. That's bad news for India, which exports machinery, chemicals, electronics goods and apparel to the European nation. India's exports as well as financial flows to India will be impacted. So first, if you look at just the impact of Germany, a lot of uh, important commodities in the chemical industry or uh, in the textile industry or in other manufacturing uh, are to Germany. So you would see a slowdown immediately of these exports. Then, of course, um, you know, it's all interlinked. So other economies that are dependent on Germany might also reduce their demand from countries like India. And I think the third, as I have mentioned, uh, you re we depend on financial flows uh, for the FDI from countries such as Germany. So G Germany is one of the large exporters of capital to India. So we've already seen over the last one year that there's been an increase in interest rates, uh, which in a sense have uh, dissipated some of the capital. And if Germany is to face the slowdown, you might see a further uh, reduction in global cross-border financial flows. Stay tuned for more such topics on SNG Explains. We will be back with a new topic for you. Till then, keep watching Strat News Global. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.